hello precious standards on this sunday evening thank you all so much for coming on joining with me it is lakedra again and i wanted to encourage you that one that may be hurting and feeling hopeless you have nothing to be hopeless about god is not a man that he should lie hold on to his promises Delight yourself in his word, people of God. Trust in God's word. It is seed. Believe the seed is bringing forth your harvest. Believe God's word is greater than that problem. Believe that God's word is going to come forth in your life. No ifs, no ands, and no buts about it. It is his will that you and your spouse remain one flesh and that your marriage illustrate Christ and the church united into one flesh. As you continue giving thanks unto God for it, you're going to see that promise come to pass in your life more than you could ever have asked, think, or hoped for. Keep having that expectation. Keep declaring what's coming your way. This is how you cling on to it and never let it go. Even when that problem has rose, you get that scripture out. You get that scripture out and you begin to look at it again and meditate on it. Think on it. Confess it out of your mouth. Wrestle against those thoughts. Bring them into captivity. It's a fight you're in right now. But yes, you're going to win it. This is how you fight the good fight of faith. Having the word of God and clinging on to it. Hearing it day and night. God in your heart and your mind. Because out of it, the Bible tells us, comes the issues of life. Stay away from all perverse and negative speech. Make a clear path ahead of you. And keep your eyes focused on the promise. Don't let nothing come in and steer you away from it. And this is what the enemy is out to do. But as you keep hearing the word of God, you're going to be renewing your strength. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for that one that is struggling today or on tonight or this morning, wherever you are. And I want to pray God's strength and peace over your life. And we're going to declare what God says and believe we've received it in Jesus name. Father, thank you. For your word we ask it all in the name of jesus that only your will be done thank you for the kingdom of god thank you for the kingdom of heaven lord god coming forth in our marriage we call it done we thank you lord god for the harvest of a hundredfold return thank you lord god hallelujah for giving us more than we can ever ask or hope for we praise your name lord what you have joined together no man can separate we have your word, oh God, your word that will produce after itself. Bless you, God. Thank you that whatsoever you have joined together, no one can separate it. And as your word tells us, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined unto his wife, and the two shall be united into one flesh. We declare and decree we are joined together with our spouse. You have made us one. And our marriage is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. Because we have your word on it, God. And we thank you for it in Jesus' holy name. May your peace rest upon each standard. May your grace and mercy, O oh God, be upon them. We bind all fear, doubt, and unbelief. We resist the devil and we command. We command you to go in Jesus' name out of our marriage and get behind us we bind your works what god has joined together no one can separate no weapon that is formed against us can prosper and every tongue that rose up against us in judgment we condemn it now in the name of jesus and we declare blessings healing and restoration upon our marriage we thank you for protection upon our marriage Thank you, Lord God, our spouse, we declare and decree, Lord, they have a new heart and a right spirit. You are causing them to walk in your ways. You are causing us to be like-minded.
towards one another and receive one another as Christ also received us for the glory of God. We all agree and say amen. Praise his name, people of God, and thank him for what he has done in your life and the seed he has given you to sow in your heart. And thank him for that harvest that is coming forth for you and your marriage and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise him every day in advance. And until next time, remember God loves you and I love you too. Bye-bye.